Hello students, this is Professor R.D. Lokhande and today we are going to study our first poem from English syllabus. The name of the poem is Where the Mind is Without Fear. Actually, before introducing the poem, I should introduce you the author. The author of this poem is Dr. Ravindranath Tagore, a very famous personality or we can say a person a non-European person who won the Nobel Prize. Uh, we can say he was the first person who was non-European and he won the Nobel Prize in literature. The name of his anthology was Gitanjali. Now you will say, sir, what is anthology? Anthology is a book of poems. Anthology means what? A book of poems. Okay. He won the first Nobel Prize. Actually, this anthology was written in 19th century. Initially, it was written in Bengali language and then he himself converted it into the English. And after converting it into the English, it was spread too much all over the world and which led him to win a Nobel Prize in literature. Okay. Guys, why now? poem is saying that where the mind is without fear what is the meaning of this heading now you may understand that the mind without we can come up here but fear the fear of what now as i told you this literature or this anthology was written in 19th century as all of you know that in a 19th century there was a british raj right so it there might be a fear of britishers uh, the all the activities done by them as well as there was a fear of superstitious, orthodox thoughts, casteism and etc etc etc. So this poem actually is a prayer to the God done by author where he prays to the God that there should, a mind, there should be a mind of any person without the fear, the fear of different kind and we are going to study all those types of fears or how uh, or what this author wishes to the God to make all the persons or their minds free from all these fears. Okay, so let's go towards our poem here. <clears throat> here, poet says us where the mind is without fear and the head is held high. Means poet wants to say that whenever there is not any kind of burden on your mind, you can held high. Uh, your or your head holds high. Means what? See here. If you have any pet at your home, any pet animal, okay, and if you are taking a stick and standing over there. Obviously, he looks down and little bit runs away from you, right? But as you are not having any stick or anything in your hand and you are uh, standing in very calm way in front of that pit, he comes to you, he uh, moves his tail and he tries to come near you, right? So, when there was not any kind of pressure on his mind, he very uh, he came very close to you. But when there is a there was a stick in your hand and you were uh, staring towards him, he was trying to go away from you or he was little bit afraid afraid of you right so there was a fear in his mind similarly uh, in 19th century there was different kinds of fear in the mind of the peoples it might be of british raj it might be of orthodox thinking and all that so uh, here poet uh, praise god that uh, there should a mind without the fear that the head can held high means the people can live freely their life okay further poet says us that where the knowledge is free where the world has not been broken into the different fragments by the narrow domestic walls means here poet says us that the knowledge should be free means many uh, of the kinds if you will uh, listen or you will see the old fairy tales or old stories uh, in your phones or any kind of tv shows you can see that there was a kind of discrimination means the peoples of some caste only can take a education at some particular places some people can't go there for the education or even only rich guys can go for the education poor guys can't go there were many time uh, types of discriminations and your poet wishes god that all the people should get the free education as well as he says us that where the world has not broken up into the fragments by the narrow domestic world <clears throat> now the domestic walls what are the domestic walls uh, at that time there was uh, casteism some tribal uh, communities were not allowed to eat or to sit socially even not to take a water from the well where the all the peoples were taking it from so they were been uh, restricted there they were not allowed to sit socially with all the peoples or eat with them or work with them even 
so these were some kind of orthodox thinkings as well as some uh, religious activities and uh, this poet has compared them with a word domestic walls here right and due to these domestic walls there were made some groups of the peoples uh, or we can say that they uh, distributed the people into small small fragments what is fragments small small groups okay so poet wishes your god all should live together this there should not be any kind of discrimination so which will lead uh, to all the people come together it will definitely also help against these britishers to come or, or to uh, make them go away from our country also okay so further uh, poet says us that where the words come out from the depth of truth okay the words come out from the depth of truth means here poet says us that if anyone has any kind of idea in his mind so there should be a freedom to express it or to work on that idea so everyone should have a freedom to come with his own depth of truth means what some ideas from his mind so he should be free he should not have any kind of fear of repunishment or any superstitious thinking means many of the times the people would say that if you will do this it will, god will make you this or nature will uh, um, be curse on you okay so uh, these were some fears as well as there was a fear of punishment from Br britishers also too and so your poet says us that where the words come out from the depth of truth means a uh, poet wishes that as i told you initially that if anyone has any kind of idea in his mind so there should be a freedom to express it without any punishment or any thought of curse here okay so i am going further here the poet says where the tireless striving stretches into the arms towards the perfections where the clear stream of reason has not lost it away okay uh, we'll go uh, line by line here the poet says us where the tireless striving stretches its arms towards the perfections means here poet says us if uh, there is a goal in person's life there should be freedom to work towards it work very hard and achieve a goal which a person has seen for his life okay and there should not be any kind of restrictions over him there should not be any kind of fear of punishment or curse on his mind so uh, he will be away from his goal so poet wishes here to the god let the people do their work or their hard work eventually so they can achieve their goal in their life and live a good life there okay so now further uh, poet says us here where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dairy uh, desert sand of dead habit means here poet says us that where the clear stream of reasons has not lost its away into the dearly desert sand of dead habit uh, now here poet has compared some words with a stream of a water of river means here uh, if uh, you will see a river having a uh, too much water and if you will see the streams any kind of obstacles couldn't stop that water right if you will throw any stone in the water you will uh, throw a bark of tree or anything but water doesn't stops so water goes on and goes on without considering any kind of obstacle so uh, here the poet says us that a person or a people should live their life very free like a stream of water and there should be not any kind of obstacles in their life or and he is considering this dairy desert and sand of dead habit with orthodox thinking some uh, prejudices and all that uh, this orthodox thinkings superstitious uh, superstitions of curse did by the god or prejudices are compared with the words uh, dairy desert sand and dead habit here and due to these what happens these uh, things or these thoughts work like uh, obstacles in people's life to make it easy or to uh, remain them happily or they can live happily but these words are working like uh, obstacles okay and they have compared then this superstitious prejudices as well as orthodox thinking with these words here okay now further if we'll go the poet says us uh, last three lines i am reading here where the mind is laid forward by thee into ever winding thought of, thought and action 
इन टू द हेवन ऑफ फ्रीडम माय फादर लेट माय कंट्री अवेक नाउ व्हाट हियर द पोएट इज सेइंग इन दिस लास्ट थ्री लाइंस वेयर द माइंड ऑफ लेड फॉरवर्डेड बाय दी इन टू एवर वाइंडिंग थॉट एंड एक्शन इन टू द हेवन ऑफ फ्रीडम लेट द पीपल लिव द लाइफ विथ अ फ्रीडम लेट देम डू व्हाट दे वॉन्ट टू डू एंड get or can achieve their perfect goal which they have decided for their life and finally poet is praying all this thing to the god and he is asking god make all these peoples awake and let them do what they want to do in their life okay so finally if we'll take a conclusion from through uh, whole this poem here poet in for the 19th century people poet is uh, wishing god that or poet wants that everyone should live their life uh, with their own logic hard work as well as thinking not uh, by the uh, thinking of some superstitious orthodox thinkings or such thinking like a curse made by the god and anything so he want people to live their life with a logic not with any kind of thinking with hard work which will lead him to achieve his goal in a life and make life easy okay so even if uh, we will compare those days with nowadays now also there are some kind of peoples they are still believing in those orthodox thinking and making their life harder so poet by this poem we also get a message that we should also live our life with a logic as well as with a hard work to get our goals of our life achieved okay so this was about our first poem which was from anthology gitanjali uh, which was a a uh, nobel prize winning uh, part of a literature uh, which was written by rabindranath tagore so what you should do now there is a work for you now uh, there are some uh, workshops uh, given to you below this poem what we have to do you have to solve all those questions and put in our chat section so i will also come to know that you are uh, working on that or you are doing some studies uh, the efforts are taken by you to get your goals of life achieved right so we'll stop here today stay home stay safe happy learning thank you